Welcome and aloha. I am Mark Shklov, the host of Think Tech Hawaii's Law Across the Sea program. Today we're going across the sea to Tokyo, Japan, to talk with Miyuki Ishiguro and Stephen Howard about the Inter-Pacific Bar Association and how the IPBA, as it is abbreviated, brings the world together. Miyuki is a partner in the Nagashima Ono and Sunematsu law firm, and Stephen is the senior legal counsel for Asia Pacific in Fiskars Group. They are both leaders and actively involved in the IPBA. Miyuki is the yep. president-elect of the IPBA, and Stephen is the IPBA Hawaii and Northern Pacific Islands Regional Coordinator. And I just want to welcome them to our program. Uh, welcome, Miyuki. Stephen, how are you both? Hello, Mark. Oh, good. Thank you. All right. Well, look, I want to talk about the Inter-Pacific Bar Association, the IPBA, and uh, find out. I, I, I've been a member of the IPBA since it began, and uh, I, but I, I think it's important to get the word out after we've been through a pandemic and uh, let lawyers and bar associations know about the IPBA, where it's going, and what the future holds for it. So, mm -hmm. Miyuki, first of all, to you, what what is the Inter-Pacific Bar Association, and how did it get formed, and what are its goals? Okay. Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Miyuki Shiguro from Tokyo. Um, and I, IPBA is the uh, the uh, formal name is Inter Pacific Bar Association, and this is an international uh, association of business and commercial lawyers. And the uh, the, the name is IP Inter Pacific, but now the all our members are spread out. Uh, it, not only Asian uh, members, but also European and. Um, uh, American and uh, the African uh, the members. And now we have uh, about 1,500 members uh, around the uh, 65 uh, jurisdictions all over the world. And this uh, association was formed in 1994, uh, so sorry, 1991 in Japan uh, we, by several founding members, including Mark. And in 1991, we had a first uh, annual conference in Tokyo, and this is the first one. And at that time, uh, the uh, establishment of the IPBA was uh, clearly declared, and we gathered uh, more than five uh, business lawyers there. And our goal is to... Yeah, yeah, five, 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 five hundred uh, people are uh, gathered at the initial first conference. Now we have uh, one, one thousand and uh, five hundred members, and the uh, goal and purpose of the IPBA uh, we have uh, mainly two. One is the uh, provision of member with many opportunities, such as meet and exchange. Uh, ideas and study and discuss legal matters uh, within the region and share information on legal matters of each jurisdiction and promote the rule of law. And uh, for that purpose, we regularly have the annual conference and seminars. Uh, yes, great, thank you. And how, well, how, how did you get involved in, in the IPBA and, and what has it meant to you personally? Ah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I I joined IPBA uh, 2006. It's uh, I'm not the one of the uh, founding members because I became a lawyer in 1991, and mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah, it's a, a unique coincidence. And at that time, my uh, senior partner Hara Hisashi, do you know Hara-san? Yes. Hara, yes. He he was the. Uh, uh, JCM, uh, jurisdictional, uh, council member of Japan, of IPBA, and he recommended me to join the IPBA because 
you can meet so many business lawyers, not only in Japan, but also all over the world. So I decided to join the IPB at that time. And since then, I enjoy the activities at IPBA. Okay, yeah, and it, it, it's great to be able to bring people together. That's what I, 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 I'm hearing that in your conversation. Now, Stephen, um, let me ask you kind of s- similar questions. I, I mean, how did you get involved in the IPBA? Uh, what does it mean to you, and what do you do as the regional coordinator? Uh, and and to just tell me a little bit more about your personal feelings about the IPBA. Yes, I first got involved um, actually when I was in law school at the University of Hawaii William S. Richardson School of Law, and we um, I was a member of the Pacific Asian Legal Students Organization, and our dean Larry Foster at the time. Uh, came to us and asked if anyone would be willing to volunteer to help out at a one-day conference that was being held uh, by the IPBA in Honolulu. And I, I did that, and I really enjoyed it. Um, you know, I was working on like the registration desk, but was able to attend the sessions and found them really interesting. And then after that, when I came to Tokyo um, and I was working for a law firm here, I attended my first annual meeting, which was the 2001 meeting here in Tokyo. Uh, And then after that, I had a bit of a hiatus. And then from 2007, I have attended every annual meeting since, uh, except for one 2009 in Philippines, because I moved that week from Tokyo to Singapore. And then, of course, during COVID, wasn't able to attend one we had in Shanghai. So it's been a long um, relationship with the IPBA. Mm -hmm. And Currently, I am the regional coordinator uh, for Hawaii and Northern Pacific Islands. And in that role, it's my duty to try to encourage members uh, from uh, from Hawaii um, to, and to also um, share what the IPV is doing um, with the members in Hawaii. So, for example, when we have annual meetings and, and unfortunately all, uh, all members can't um, attend, you know, I send out a summary of what's happening. Uh, and when we have other events, I, I, you know, I send notices, not just to IPBA members, but to other Hawaii lawyers. I'm uh, an honorary member of the Hawaii Bar Association International Law Section. So I, we communicate regularly with them too. And I try to get back to Hawaii, even though I'm based in Tokyo, I try to get back to Hawaii um, in the latter half of the year to promote the annual conference um, with the international elite law section, with the law school, and, and others um, in, in Hawaii. Okay, and and you, you you it sounds like you've enjoyed your relationship and your uh, going to all the annual conferences. And I, I want to ask you both um, to talk a little bit more about the value the IPBA brings to the legal profession and and also how does the IPBA bring the world together? Uh, how does it meet that theme? Miyuki, let's start with you. What are your thoughts about that? Yeah, and how IPBA uh, bring the world together? Oh, it's an interesting uh, question. And the IPBA, uh, by attending the uh, activities of IPBA, we can uh, really uh, know about what happened in each jurisdiction. Uh, That is not the written paper news, but the um, real voice from the uh, friends there. And then we can uh, truly understand what happened and what what is the discussion there. And we can uh, know with each other in a a good way. This is the first step. And then, by knowing with each other deeply, uh, we can respect her with each other and based upon such understanding. So I think this uh, mutual uh, respect uh, will uh, bring the world together uh, at the uh, IPBA uh, world. And for that purpose, uh, we have so many uh, events and gathering and seminar to uh, share the information and uh, have the uh, friendship nest. Yeah, that, that is uh, 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 the value of the IPBA. 
and and uh, Stephen, uh, your 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 thoughts also, and and those photos that we just showed are, are social, and as and professional, of course. But I hear the I hear the social aspect as well as the professional. Now, Stephen, what are your thoughts uh, about the IPBA and and how uh, it brings the world together? Yeah, for, for me, it's it's been incredibly valuable because I'm in house, uh, so and, and I cover for my company um, the Asia Pacific region by myself. So um, yeah, I don't have too much interaction with lawyers on on a day to day basis. Or uh, so for me, the the IPBA has been a great resource, um, both meeting you know um, lawyers from different jurisdictions um, that. Potentially, you know, I might contact, um, you know, to help on something, but also um, you know, the, the learning, you know, in the sessions. I mean, the the annual meeting, you know, there's so many sessions on so many different topics, and for me as in-house counsel, who I just don't have the time, you know, to um, you know read everything and and, and learn everything. Uh, I'm a, I'm a generalist, so it's great to be able to learn from the specialists, you know, who are you know, the main members of the IPBA. And it's also, yeah, you say the social aspect of it. Uh, I mean, I've made so many great friends in the IPBA and, you know, just going back to uh, the, the annual conference after a three year hiatus um, in Dubai last month, it, it was like meeting old family again, you know, seeing old friends and uh, um, reconnecting. And it was just, it's just great that these friends that I've now known, some of them for you know more than 20 years, um, and it's it's you know we really have a great connection there. The other thing, it's small enough so you get to know people. It's not a massive you know um, you know conference, so you get to know people on a personal level and and you and many different people um, you know at, at one time. So it's it's a great experience and I've really thoroughly enjoyed it. You know over the last yeah now more than 20 years. Yeah, and uh, we, we've talked a little bit about COVID and the pandemic and uh, Miyuki, the uh, COVID pandemic uh, caused the termination of a planned annual meeting in Tokyo. And, yeah. and but it, the IPBA did rebound. We've talked a little bit now also about Dubai. So what, what happened? Um, With so speak, COVID yeah. Dubai. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So speaking of the... Uh, um, uh, the uh, COVID. Uh, in uh, originally in 2020, we plan to uh, have a annual conference in Shanghai, uh, China. But due to the uh, COVID, uh, the uh, holding of the annual conference was uh, cancelled and um, postponed to 2021. And the, originally, the the Tokyo conference will be would be held in. 2021. So the Tokyo conference would be further postponed to 2022. And that, speaking of the Shanghai conference, it was uh, held, but uh, the uh, members outside of China cannot attend in person. So the only Chinese uh, members uh, gathered together at Shanghai for the annual conference. And the uh, outside uh, non Chinese member like me, uh, attended the uh, Shanghai conference by uh, using the internet services. So, but th this this is just the uh, provision of the recorded uh, one. And then the the Tokyo conference uh, was planned to have to be held in 2022, but uh, because of the um, uh, spread out of the COVID. We decided to have the Tokyo conference only on the website, uh, web web uh, uh, basis. So then the members uh, uh, suggested us to uh, change the uh, uh, to sp further postpone the Tokyo conference to 2024, and then that that's why we will have the uh, Tokyo conference uh, next year. And before mm -hmm. that, uh, uh, the uh, kind uh, Dubai uh, friends uh, offered to have the conference in Dubai in 2023. That, that's why we have the conference. Uh, uh, the first 
uh, annual conference, we can uh, meet in person after the uh, COVID. Yes, and, that's and, uh, Dubai. And a lot of the photos that we've been showing are yeah. of that Dubai conference. And I'd like to kind of quickly go through those photos again. The first one was Stephen, uh, photo number one. Uh, who, what is that, Stephen? What, who, is it, who are those folks? Yeah, this is the, the Hawaii contingent. You know, every year at the annual meeting, we, we try to gather all the Hawaii lawyers and you know, friends of Hawaii um, you know, for a group picture. And uh, you know, unfortunately, in Dubai, we had a small contingent. But um, uh, in this picture, I mean, from from left to right, um, is uh, Freddie Rupert, who is actually a French lawyer, but he's a very good friend of Hawaii, and you um, probably can see that uh, he he loves vintage Hawaiian you know, aloha shirts, um, and he's also an honorary member of the Hawaii Bar Association um, International Law Section. And then next to him. You you have Yoko and Alan uh, uh, Fujimoto. Alan is a former secretary general of the IPBA, mm -hmm. and um, and then he um, is a partner in uh, Hawaii law firm um, Goodfill. Then you have me, and then finally uh, next to me is Shimpei Oki, who is also a partner at um, Goodfill. And um, just to let you know, my term as regional coordinator for Hawaii will end at the Tokyo conference. And we fortunately have gotten Shimpei um, to agree to take over the role. So bringing in some more, some younger blood into the organization. Mm -hmm. Oh, good, good. And that's nice that all the Hawaii, uh, Hawaii lawyers can get together. Now let's uh, quickly go through the next four. Uh, Miyuki, could you, what, what are these uh, images, these photos? Uh, yeah, th this is a registration disc for the Tokyo conference. And we offered a special rate for the uh, registration uh, on site at Dubai. Uh, the uh, the lady uh, in the middle is our great secretary at uh, Londa. And uh, the next is uh, myself. And we we had more than two hundred uh, army registrant here uh, there. Great. Now, what the next photo? Uh, this is. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. This is uh, we we can see the uh, uh, Frederick Lupard here too, mm -hmm. and this is a Dubai. Um, is this a farewell party? Farewell party outside the uh, hotel lounge, uh, uh, and this is very fantastic one. Okay. Next photo. This is a uh, uh, yes annual uh, uh, general meeting. Uh, the. Uh, these are guys, uh, uh, officers of the IPBA now. Okay, next photo. Oh, well, th th this is the image of the next... To to Tokyo uh, conference, right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so after Dubai, mm -hmm. we're looking at our next conference in Tokyo. What's that all about? Miyuki, yeah. what's, how does that look? Yes, yes. And What's the plan for Tokyo? Mm -hmm. uh, we will have a, a Tokyo conference from April 23rd to 27th uh, next, next year. And the, yes, and that will be held at the center of the city of Tokyo. And the um, 23rd is the uh, meeting day for officers and council members. So the, um, um, ordinary members, uh, the events will begin from uh, April 24th. So please come to uh, from 24th. And the venue of the conference uh, is the center of the city. And the hotel uh, is Hotel Okura. And this is this, this hotel is located uh, next to the US Embassy. Uh, the, so what this is uh, the location of the one of the reasons why we choose uh, uh, hotel. U.S. Embassy will support our security, right? And the and the on the uh, uh, on Wednesday, twenty fourth, we will have a, a welcome reception, and the uh, the next day is the uh, uh, initial date of the uh, formal meeting. 
and we will have an opening ceremony and planning session and so many uh, um, concurrent uh, sessions by many uh, committees. And then, uh, then uh, on that night, we will have a gala dinner at a Hotel Okra. And the next day, we will have a whole day uh, uh, session, meet, session meetings. And in the evening time, we will have a, a farewell party at Hapoen, which has a huge and beautiful Japanese garden. And last day, we will have a, a, a annual general meeting uh, together with all of our members. Okay, and I saw on that first video, uh, I mean, sorry, the, the first photo or image uh, graphic, uh, it's it, the theme of the meeting is new world, new wisdom. What, mm -hmm. what is that about? What does that uh, mean? Yeah, uh, new world means uh, the our uh, world was uh, so much changed because of the uh, pandemic, uh, corona pandemic, and the uh, uh, rapid uh, development of the technology such as AI or chat GTP. And so we are now living in a, a totally different new world. So that uh, we will uh, try to cope with and uh, uh, this new world with new wisdom. Uh, new wisdom uh, means the, uh, the, we will have the uh, a new uh, skill and new experience based upon the uh, uh, development of the technology and the uh, uh, mutual uh, development. So that that that's that in that mean meaning, uh, we will have this slogan: "New World, New Wisdom" for the Tokyo Conference. And this is the second uh, uh, annual uh, conference in person held. So. Uh, we we ha we hope to have the uh, more than ten thousand uh, people uh, attendance at the conference, and we will uh, proceed this uh, theme: new world, new wisdom. There. Well, I, and I can see that the the goal is is uh, to do social and professional mm -hmm. meetings and get people together and. Uh, get the world together. Now, uh, I understand that you have a website uh, for the conference, and let's put up the the site for that website or, or the information about it, so that people can find out mm -hmm. more information. That would be the www.ipba2024.com. Let's put that up. Okay. For more, please. Okay. Great. Uh, now, Stephen, we have this meeting planned for a year from now, approximately. <laughs> what advice would you give to lawyers about attending, registering for the 2024 IPBA annual meeting in Tokyo? Well, I, first I would say, you know, hurry up um, because the super early bird rates expire um, at the end of this month. So you can get a great rate. I mean, it's already very reasonable for this uh, type of conference. And um, so by April 30th, uh, you can get a great rate. Also, I would suggest that um, it's very good to book it now, put it in your calendar, your diary, um, so you have it blocked off. So you know, down the road, you, know, you um, won't have anything scheduled for that time, hopefully. Um, because yeah, it's going to be a great, great meeting. Um, there's going to be so many uh, people there. It's a, I mean, a great venue, and the social events. Uh, it will be you know fantastic too. Yeah. Okay, and Miyuki, um, yeah. Tokyo is a great city. I, I I love Tokyo. Been there so many times, uh, and you uh, have on your website a um, YouTube video that the Tokyo Metropolitan Government uh, shares. And let's, and you wanted to show that. Let's, uh, that, that's on the website for the, uh, the, the conference. Let, let's take a look at that one minute video.
about that video tells us about Tokyo, Miyuki. Uh, yes. And this is, uh, uh, the video says, old and new. And this is a very, uh, um, what do you say, uh, technical word expressing uh, Tokyo. Uh, because in Tokyo, we have very old one. That means a traditional uh, cuisine, traditional uh, sightseeing area, and traditional um, um, art, Japanese art. But on the other hand, we have a very new one, uh, such as a Japanese animation or Japanese um, uh, technology. So now uh, in Tokyo, uh, you can enjoy both uh, old and new. And many people uh, uh, think about the Japan. We have a, a very good old things uh, like Kyoto, but now we have not only old one, but also very interesting new one. So please uh, enjoy both. That is the uh, message of this uh, video. Stephen, what are your thoughts about it? Yeah, I mean, Tokyo now, it's my hometown. I've lived here for close to 20 years. But still, every day, something just amazes me. It's a great place. You can discover new things all the time, both old and new. Um, and plus, being the world's largest metropolis, it works. It's safe. It's clean. Um, and like I said, there's something for everyone here. So we really welcome everyone to come to Tokyo, enjoy the conference, enjoy the city, enjoy you know, the, the hospitality of, of Japan here. So it, it sounds like you, there's lots to do just in Tokyo and then be part of the new IPBA conference there, the next one. 2024 will add to it. So it sounds like a great opportunity. Miyuki, in closing, we have about a minute left. What would you like to say to lawyers all around the world to bring them together in Tokyo? Yeah, thank you. And everyone, um, April is uh, one of the best season in Japan. And so please join us. Uh, for the Tokyo conference and please register now. Uh, hopefully by the Super Early Bird com uh, campaign period end, which is April 30. Thank you. Okay, so get on the website, take a look at it, see all the opportunities available and register for 2024 IPBA in Tokyo. Thank you. Thank Miyuki, you. Stephen, thank you both for being my guests. Aloha. Thank you. Thank you, Aloha. Thank you so much for watching Think Tech Hawaii. If you like what we do, please like us and click the subscribe button on YouTube and the follow button on Vimeo. You can also follow us on Facebook. Instagram, and LinkedIn, and donate to us at thinktechhawaii.com. Mahalo.